Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial you are going to be learning how to install WordPress locally on your system and you use WordPress on your system without going to the website to use it directly from there. What I'm trying to say is that you are going to use WordPress without data, without Wi-Fi connection or anything. It will just run directly on your local server. By local server, I mean your local host or 127.0.01. So that's what we're going to do today. Right now, we are on my browser, the Google Chrome. So just simply, you go to www.wordpress.com or https column slash slash wordpress.com i'll leave the link in the description box you can click on it and download so once you come to this place all you need to do is you see a button like this i think this is a bootstrap button anyway so you see get wordpress so you just click on this get wordpress and automatically you download the wordpress into your system and it will come as a zip file so once you download this as a zip file you have wordpress you understand then you need a local server on your system and since wordpress was built using php that means you need a php server which is either zam server or warm server to run on your local device you know if you have zam server that means you have your apache maria db pair your php and your server is complete you understand you can also use warm so i'll navigate to the zam website now so this is zam website as you can see so all you need to do is to come to this place if you want to use zamp and you click this you download this because what we basically need the server is because we want to be able to access our php my admin so if you click this you will download zamp server on your system you have it for linux you have it for mac os also you want to use your warm server which is the one i'm going to use to demonstrate in this tutorial just follow me and do this visit www.warmserver.com sorry the website for zamp software is www.apachefriends.org i'll leave the link in the description box also so for warm server just go to www.warmserver.com and you can go down and you see the installation process is there you can see the installation button just click on this warm server 64 bits if you want the 32 bit you can click on it but i have the 64 bits so i'll click on the 64 bit here and i'll download one server and you can see what comes along with it one server 3.10 apache php mysql and you have all this installed just all in one so now if you do this you install it normally you can see right now i've downloaded my warm server and i've installed it once you install it you have something like this this icon warm server 64 what you need to do is just double click it and run it give it the administrator's permission it's running actually what happens is once you do this you discover that you have just a little icon displaying on your taskbar at the right side on your taskbar uh sorry you will not be able to see my because i'm covering the major screen i'm not covering my taskbar along with it so it's at the bottom by your right you see a green pop-up there if i right click on it you see it this the pop-up that brought this up you see something like this you see local host php my admin and everything is here so all what i want to do right now is to start this server i believe you see the location where i clicked this where it's coming from so that's where you see it just click on start all server and i believe your server should be working then once you do this i want you to right click on it again then click on php my admin we should automatically bring up your web browser and to load localhost slash php my admin now it will come up like this and all you have to do is to clear this off for now then you go back right now you see i've downloaded wordpress if you followed me vividly to do that you will see that you will have your wordpress in zip file all i want to do right now is to copy this or cut this but in this case i'm going to cut it then we'll go into your c drive or look for warm 64 bits look at warm 64 click on warm 64 then ignore all these things just go to ww click on ww then now you can paste this here paste that zip file here now you can extract so right click on it then extract so i'm going to extract it here okay so it's running 
And so while the extraction is going on, let me quickly walk you through this PHP my admin on the word browser which we have loaded earlier. So you see your default username is root, is root sorry. Then your server is MySQL. I see no reason I see no reason why you should be using MariaDB right now because it doesn't have to do with PHP that much. So what we have to do is leave it as default like this, but you don't have any password yet. Click on go. PHP my admin. Okay, we are going to create a, a database for this. You understand? Click on new database name. It's a normal convention that people name it WordPress, but in this case, I already have a name WordPress again. So I'm going to name it something like my website. I believe that to do. Then click on create, and you have your database created. Now I don't want to create any table. Leave it. There's something I want to do, and that will automatically create your table for you so just leave this right now minimize it in our ww folder we see whether our wordpress is installed so we have our wordpress installed here so double click on your wordpress you have everything installed here rename this wordpress to my website as i just want to give it the name of the database although you can give it any name actually so once you do this we come back and in your web browser Open a new tab and go to localhost slash my website. Now, if you do this automatically, this is what will open for you. The setup dash config.php will open for you. Uh, you see, it says welcome to PHP. Before getting started, we need some information from you. That means you must know your database name. You must know your database username. You must know your database password. And you must know your database host name. So, just click let's go. And here automatically it has preset everything for us already. As you can see, we have database name to be WordPress. No, I've already changed my own, which we did to my website. So you should change that to my website. It should point to my website database. The username is default, always root. Don't forget that, please. Then we have no password for this yet. I don't know whether you have set password for your own server, but if you have password for it, you can change it. Now the database host name is always localhost and table prefix wp always leave this default and just click submit okay once you do this it will now ask you to run the installation for those of you that have used wordpress before this is what you do normally when you are running online right so you are doing this offline and it's working fine so what i want you to do now is to click on run the installation the main purpose of this is to enable us to build our website offline. We don't need to be visiting WordPress every time to build our website. You can build it offline before deploying all your contents and code to WordPress. So now it will not ask you your the title of your site. I just want to name the site my website. You can give it any name. Then the username root. Okay, still okay. It has given me a password, a strong password. But in this case, I don't want this password because I might easily forget. So what I'll do, I just give it a password. My website. But on the normal ground, I won't allow you to see this. I just named it my website. You come here and say confirm password. Yes, we want that. Then you have to enter an email. Now, do you want this to be seen on search engine? That is this website. Yeah, we want our website to be seen on search engine so that it can increase our traffic. So that's why you need to do that. So click on install right now. You are, you are good to go. Okay, now it said WordPress has been installed. Now the username is, is root. Remember, you can always change the username. So what I need to do now is to log in. My username is root as default and i can enter my password click on login oh sorry for that i think i didn't enter that well okay now we are in this is it this is wordpress my friend running without me using my wi-fi without me using my data to build your wordpress on the system anything you want to build with wordpress you can build here you can even install your plugins here you can install your team you can install anything and build wordpress locally before installing it on a cloud now go to your server click on the database just created which is my website and you see that everything has automatically been installed you see we didn't create any table ourselves but just that simple process we took we have all our table created for us and you can see we have table for post table for terms and so whatsoever if you are dealing with wordpress we don't need to do anything here so we'll go back to this and the last process that we have to do is to check our website right now 
so you have to click on this at the top bar my website then click on visit and you see we have a simple website running and uh, which you have to edit i think this is just a simple blog actually so you can see we have my website just another wordpress site and it's simple uh, is somebody's life here is very simple as you can see so you see we have teams we have widgets and we have menu if you want to edit your site you click on dashboard and you come back and you can edit your site whatever i want to do add pages and that is it so i'm not going to teach you how to use wordpress to design your site the main purpose of this tutorial was just to show you how to install wordpress locally on system and run it offline and that's all so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you really like this tutorial you can always click the like button below please don't forget to subscribe it's really encouraging me to do more and if you have any question or if more about this tutorial you can visit www.tonycletus.com all right till next time